Okay, let's talk venting now, and let's talk about this controller and what it does and the relationship to this CO2 tank in the room. Okay, the CO2 tank also, this is the wire that delivers the CO2 to the room. Alright, this is this is the timer that controls the CO2 and this is the timer that controls the exhaust in the room. I suspect that this is an intake and that this is the exhaust because that's a charcoal filter, a carbon filter, and it takes the scent molecule out. Now you know this one here, that's on 24 hours because I couldn't figure out which controller was for that. But the important thing to notice here is that this CO2 monitor and this CO2 timer don't talk to each other. They're independent. So this thing is going to control this tank and I mean this fan and for all we know this fan can be on while the CO2 gas is coming out, right? I mean we don't know because these two controllers don't talk to each other. Sure, regardless any CO2 that comes out is going to leave from the into the fans from the vent because this is on 24 hours but what they should have done is this what they should have done is this co2 tank should have put, been put down here on the floor fan filter right so it takes the air from the room it filters it and puts it back out into the room back out into the room then they wouldn't have needed this fan at all because if you're not pushing any air out of the room you don't need any air coming in the room so all they needed to do was put that fan filter on the floor and we would have been good right so now with the co2 tank and regulator comes on and the co2 gas is coming out then any co2 that goes in here will also come back into the garden here, any CO2 in the fan filter will leave through that wall and you're just throwing your CO2 away, especially because this timer has nothing to do with the CO2. And any CO2 you have will leave by the way of that center fan as well. <clears throat> the best thing they could have done for this garden would have been to leave the CO2 the way it is, let it vent into the garden. Here, this this and this shouldn't be on the ceiling this sorry these two shouldn't be in the room at all this fan filter should be on the floor blowing out into the room and refiltering the same air and recirculating the same co2 back into the garden right this fan here could have happily just blown the co2 out across the plants right and so that's the idea. What also should have happened was this fan should not be there. Instead of venting these hoods, what you should have had is an AC here in the corner and then vent the AC out of the room by itself with its own duct. That would have taken the hot air out. You could have used CO2. You wouldn't have exhausted any of it. And now you would have been using it the way it's supposed to be used. All right, hang on a sec, I'll be right back. You've got questions. My No More Grow More Fat Cards have answers. Everything you need to know to grow, guaranteed. Pick up a set at your local hydroponic store or from my website, thegrowboss.com.